economic recovery may have begun, but most people agree it's going to be a long, slow haul out of recession. And that's why we're here today at our third round table in conjunction with Nestle. We've invited along a number of top chefs and restaurateurs to discuss the lessons they've learned from the last 18 months and offer their views on how to survive the next 12. Because of the challenges the industry has faced in the last 12 months, restaurateurs have had to adapt to the new conditions. And they've done this in many different ways. I think during the recession the main thing we changed was uh, just thinking about the value proposition that we had. We're quite an expensive, uh, or it's quite a high priced restaurant, but we're pretty good value. So I think we really just uh, focused on investing in extra staff training, making sure the quality in the kitchen was as high as it possibly could be. Uh, really just making sure we were improving rather than cutting back. I think our clients have um, really focused on, on their clients, on their customers more than on the restaurants. I think um, you know the whole focus um, for client or customer loyalty and brand loyalty has been um, you know a big key in keeping the restaurants full and also again looking at marketing in a different way. Um, so actually recognizing that marketing is an element in their, in their, their kind of mix um, more so than, not more so, but alongside PR. There are many ways of communicating with your customers and successful restaurants use a range of different methods. In terms of the communicating to customers and, and online social media side of things, we're, we're, it's something that I take a lot of um, direction from the staff from as well and, and we all sort of contribute to. It's something that I really embrace and I think that that preconception has really dropped now um, with regards to fine dining restaurants using um, uh, online social media and I'm really up for it. We use Twitter, we use Facebook, we use uh, an online, um, we, we, we market an online media um, newsletter to our customers once a month as well and we spend a lot of time developing that database that I think has a, a dramatic effect on the restaurant simply because it brings the name of the restaurant in front of people in a quick, in a quick way that's all and that's really worked for us. So how optimistic are restaurateurs feeling about the future? I'm very optimistic about the next 12 months. Very optimistic. Uh, very, very, yeah quite optimistic. So generally, the feeling among restaurateurs here is one of optimism. If you're good at what you do and work hard at exceeding customer expectations, there's no reason why the next 12 months shouldn't be successful for you and your business.